guys, I'm Clavier Moore and welcome to More Than Hair. In this video today, I'm going to show you how to measure your head for a custom unit. The first thing you're going to need for this video is your measuring tape. One point I want to add is the measuring tapes normally have a little bit of extra room at the end. I will show you guys. You want to make sure that you're starting at zero with all of these measurements. The next thing you're going to need is your cell phone or a pen and paper for you to take note of those measurements. You want to make sure that you're writing it down and you're being very accurate when you're measuring your head. Now this item is optional. You may need a stocking cap if you have a lot of hair, especially if your hair is natural. You will need a stocking cap to help keep your hair in place while you are measuring your head. And it can also help keep your hair compressed if you have a lot of hair. So the first thing you want to do is make sure that your hair is braided or in a low sleep ponytail. However, you're gonna wear your hair underneath your wig. That's how you want your hair to be when you're measuring your head for your unit. So if your hair is natural, I would suggest that you braid your hair into six to 10 cornrows going back and this will give you the flattest possible foundation for your head measurements and also for your wig when you receive your unit. The first thing and the most important thing you're going to measure is your head circumference. Now your circumference is the uh, measurement that's taken around your head and this matters because this generally decides the size of your head. If it's off, your wig will be too big or too small. So what you're going to do for the circumference is you're going to measure all the way around your hairline with the measuring tape. You're gonna start in the middle at the front and you're gonna go all the way around and meet back up in the center. Make sure that the tape is tucked behind your ears. You don't wanna get your ears in there because that will throw the whole thing off. 21 inches for my circumference. The second part of your measurement, you're going to measure from the front of your hairline to the back of your hairline in the nape. Front, again, zero, right where your hairline begins, whether you have a widow's peak or not, but zero, all the way down to the back, right where your hairline stops in the back. And mine is saying, 13 and a quarter. So the next measurement we're gonna do is your temple to temple, but you're gonna do it around the back of your head. So again, I have my finger on zero. I'm gonna put it right where my hairline starts at my temple. And I'm gonna bring it around the back and I'm gonna put my finger where my hairline ends, okay? So mine says 15 inches. The next measurement we're going to do is the nape. So that just means the very bottom of your hairline at the back. So you're gonna start right where your hairline starts at the very back and you're going to pull it all the way across to where it ends. Four and a half. Next measurement we're going to do is air to air, but over the top. This measurement and the last measurement is very important if you're going to have a frontal wig made. It is really important to get accurate measurements for these two if you want your frontal to be glueless. Thirteen and three quarters. For the very last measurement you're going to take is air to air, but you're gonna bring it up in front of your hairline. So following the curve of your forehead, you're gonna bring it there. So I'm gonna start here, right? I guess you would say where my hairline starts, right by my sideburns, and I'm gonna bring it across the front, and I'm gonna end it right where my hairline ends. 11 and a half inches. Good luck to you guys and thank you so much for your support.